Hey everyone, this is Vikas for Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this type of simple looking slideshow animation by using Blackmagic Fusion. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first of all, we have to take a new composition. So go to file menu and click on new and take a new composition and go to file menu again and click on preferences and go to frame format and set this frame format 1920 into 1080 and 30 frames per second so it's good for now and click on save all right now we have to import an image file so go to folder and this is our image you can download this image from pixabay.com and i have given a link in the description so download this and drag and drop to the flow window and drag this image to the viewer one and click on fit and click on this window layout one for a single view and increase the size of this preview window all right now right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap and press f2 and rename this to image and hit enter and press ctrl and a scroll up to zoom in okay now select this image and press ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for crop node so this is our crop node click on ok and drag this crop to the viewer ok now select this crop node and click on this xf button to add a transform after this crop one so this is our transform drag this transform to the viewer select this transform and press f2 and rename it zoom underscore one now set this composition 180 frame long which is equal to 6 second so put the value 180 in global timing and hit enter okay now select this zoom and click on this cc button to add a color corrector node after this zoom one and drag this color corrector to the viewer okay and go to properties of this color corrector and here is master saturation so set this saturation value 0 and then click on this label tab and go to green channel and set this green value something like 0 0.8 and hit enter and go to this blue channel and set this something like 1.5 okay so it's looking something like that okay now select this zoom one transform node and go to frame number 180 and here is size so right click click on animate and go to frame number zero and set this value something like 1.2 and hit enter so now it's looking something like that okay now drag this color character over here and select this zoom one and press ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for direction blur so this is our direction blur node click on ok to add after this zoom one and select this direction blur and set this length value something like 0 0.01 ok okay now we have to create a matte node so click on this busy button to add a background node and let's rename it to matte so press f2 on the keyboard to rename and rename it to matte and hit enter now select this matte node and click on this rectangular mask and add a rectangle mask and now drag this matte to the viewer and select this rectangle and set this width value something like 0 0.85 okay and height value 0 0.05 and then set this corner radius 0 0.3 and hit enter okay so it's looking something like that now set this rectangle box over here okay now add a transform so select this mat and click on this xf to add a transform and drag this transform to the viewer okay now let's take a merge node so click on this merge button and add a merge node place it over here and connect this 
yellow point to this transform and green point to output of this image something like that and take uh, another transform node so click on this xf to add a transform node and hold shift and attach this transform something like that okay and place it over here okay now select this merge and change this operator over to in and drag this merge one to the viewer so it's looking something like that now select this transform and go to frame number 180 and set the size value something like that and right click on this size click on animate and go to frame number zero and make this to default okay so it's looking something like that okay now select this transform tool and press f2 on the keyboard to rename and rename it to zoom underscore two okay now take a, another background node and rename it to mat underscore two okay now select this rectangle right click on this click on copy and right click over here and paste instance so this is our instance of this rectangle one and attach this mat to this instance and same thing for this transform so right click copy right click over here and paste instance and attach this yellow point to this mat okay now we have to take a merge node so take a merge node by clicking on this merge button and attach this yellow point to this merge one and green point to this instance okay place it over here and create a junction by holding alt and click on this connection to create a junction and drag this merge two to the viewer okay now select this instance rectangle one and go to properties and here is solid so right click on this solid and click on this uh, d instance option and right click on this border width and click on this d instance so now this border width and solid is independent so uncheck this solid box and create a border width something like 0 0.005 okay and select this mat to and change this color to white and click on ok and click on this high quality button and turn off this auto proxy okay now let's animate this so select this transform one and go to frame number 150 and select this transform and right click on center click on animate and right click on this angle and click on animate and go to frame number zero and drag this rectangle over here and set this angle 30 degree okay and click on this fit button so it's looking something like that okay now select this rectangle one and go to frame number 150 right click on width click on animate and go to frame number zero and set this width value something like 0 0.5 okay and click on this fit button and then go to a spline window press f4 to full screen and check this instance transform one and click on this fit button and click on this one button okay sorry check this instance and click on this fit and select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and make the curve something like that okay now check this angle click on this option here select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and make the curve something like that okay now check this width and click on this option here select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and make the curve something like that okay and press f4 to exit and go to flow window and now let's check this animation
Okay, so it's looking nice. Okay, now we have to take a merge node and place it over here and connect this yellow point to this color character one and connect this green point to this merge two and drag this merge three to the viewer. Okay, so it's looking something like that. Okay, now let's add a shadow node. So select this merge two and press control plus a space bar for search box and search for shadow. So this is our shadow node, click on OK and select this shadow node and go to properties and here is softness. So set this softness value something like 0.02. Okay, and click on dish option here and here is blend option. So set this blend value 0.25 and hit enter. Okay, now let's add a text node so click on this text plus button to add a text node place it over here and take a merge node and hold shift and attach this merge over here something like that and connect this green point to this text okay and go to frame number approx 30 and select this text and type your text so i'm typing love and Increase the size of this text, something like that. And change this font style to Century Gothic. So this is our Century Gothic font style. Click on this. You can choose any type of font style. Okay. Now set the size, something like that. And then select this Merge 4 and go to Properties. And here is Apply Mode. So change this Normal to Soft Light. So it's looking something like that. Okay, now let's add some particles. So go to folder and this is our particle. You can download this also from pixabay.com and link given in the description. So download this and drag and drop to this flow window. And let's rename it to particle. And click on OK and take another merge. And hold shift and attach this merge over here, something like that. And connect this green point to this particle and place it over here select this merge and go to properties and change this normal to screen mode okay now we have to add another text so click on this text plus button and type your text something like love forever and take another merge attach this merge by holding shift something like that and connect this green point to this and now select all this node and drag it something like that okay and go to frame number 180 and select this text too and right click over here click on this character label styling and go to modifier option expand this option okay and set this text over here and go to tool set the size something like 0.1 select this text and go to modifier option and change this font style to century gothic and now select this forever and change this bold to regular so it's looking something like that now select all this text and drag it over here and go to this tool menu and go to layout and here is center so go to frame number 180 right click on center click on animate and go to frame number zero and drag this text over here okay and click on this setting and and go to frame number approx 80 and right click on opacity click on animate and just go to one frame back and set this opacity to zero 
Okay, so it's looking something like that. Okay. Now we have to add another rectangle. So take a background node and let's rename it to box by pressing F2 on the keyboard and hit enter. Select this box and click on this rectangular mask to add a rectangle mask and create a square and set this corner radius to 0.3 okay and and uncheck this solid box and set this border width something like 0.05 and now let's take another merge and attach this merge over here something like that and connect this green point to this box and select this box and pick a color something like white and click on ok and select this rectangle and place it over here okay now select this rectangle too and go to frame number approx 150 right click on this center click on animate and right click on this angle click on animate and go to frame number zero and drag this rectangle over here and set this angle approx 120 and hit enter okay now click on this fit button and now let's check this okay now go to spline window check this rectangle 2 and click on this button here select this keyframe press s to smooth and create a easy is in something like that and check this angle click on this fit button select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and make the curve something like that okay now one last thing so let's create a aspect ratio so click on this bg button to add a background and let's rename it to black and hit enter select this black and click on this rectangular mask and add a mask and set this mask something like something like that and click on this invert option and let's merge this so take a merge node connect this yellow point to this merge 3 and green point to this black and drag this merge 8 to the viewer and now let's rename it and now let's rename it so press f2 and rename it to final node and hit enter so hold alt and create a junction okay so this is our final node and drag this to the viewer okay so it's almost done so now let's check this animation all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it so i'll see you next tutorial till then Bye-bye.